Cause we was never taught how to be with one another. The man wasn't taught how to love the black woman. The so-called black woman wasn't taught how to love the black woman. What's your name? What's your name? Evil. A Levi, all praise to the Lord. All praises, Khan. All praises. Give me Deuteronomy 12 and 10. But the God, hey, uh, do you uh you know you're a Levi, so you know you're Israelite, right? So let me show you something real quick. I'm tired of lying. Let me show you something real quick. I always try to learn. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. I know my word though. Let me show you something real quick. I read, I, I got more than you know, I got Just knowing that we are the children of Israel, that's just a small part of it. It's something that we gotta do as a people. Jesus, this is what we got to do as a people. Read that down. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Read. And now Israel. Now who? Israel. Now we are the Israelites. You know you're Israelite. Read. What does the Most High thy power require of thee? What do the Most High God require of us? Oh, really? It's something we got to do. Read. Oh, really? But to fear the Most High thy power. To fear the Most High God thy power. It's read. To hold, on, hold on, brother. Don't interrupt the woman. Let her get the knowledge. You, you know what I'm saying? Let 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 us let us teach her. Don't 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 interrupt. Don't be a be a man. You know what I'm saying? Don't be, no, be a man. Don't interrupt. Be, be a man. Don't be a boy. Okay, come on, read. To walk in all his ways. You gotta walk in all God's ways, sister. Read. And to love him. And to love him. Now it's gonna tell you how you love God. Read. And to serve the most high thy power. Read. With all thy heart. Read. And with all thy soul. Read. To keep the commandments to do what to keep the commandments do you know the commandments sister? you know i'm gonna teach you a couple commandments for the woman read to keep the commandments of right. the most high read and his statutes read which i command thee this day come on for thy good for thy what for thy good so us being the israelite we got to keep god's law statutes and commandments you got laws for the uh the whole nation and you got laws for like the individuals too. Like, I'm gonna give you a law for just you, you know what I'm saying? Cause you're a woman. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. And God's word is righteous and true, you know what I'm saying? And after that, give me 1 Timothy 2 and 9. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Now loving God is keeping his commandments. He said, you know what I'm saying? Walking his law, statutes, commandment. So just knowing we're Israelite, that's one part of it. But when you, you ever heard the say, uh, uh, be a doer, do, you know what I'm saying? Do things and don't just be a hero only. That's a that's a commandment, you know what I'm saying? Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Right. What do you think that means when they say a woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man? What do you think he mean by that? Well, he mean that a woman ain't supposed to have on pants. You know what I'm saying? It's the law that the woman pulled the quit on a dress. You know what I'm saying? Just like when you go to the restroom, if it don't have men or women up there, how you'll know which one is the woman? Because it'll have on a dress, right? Right, all praise to the most high. So that's a commandment. God wants you to wear a dress. I know it's cold out, but you should have your, 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 your underclothes on, then your dress over. You know what I'm saying? Because that's being, give me uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 9. Because God want the women, our women, which are princesses, to be a special kind of way. And you got to be special all the time in your walk, in your speech, in everything. Okay. Read that down. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Come on. In like manner also, Read. that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. The woman supposed to adorn herself in modest apparel. Modest apparel means not dressed in a sexual way. You got a husband? All right. But you're not supposed to be dressed in a sexual way, meaning not showing your shape off. You're supposed to be covered up. Because if a brother see your shape, he might come after you for the wrong thing, you understand? But if you covered up, he ain't going to know how to come at you. He's going to come at you respectfully, you understand what I'm saying? Because the, the, the law is a spiritual thing, you know what I'm saying? Read that again. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. In modest apparel, read. With shamefacedness. With shamefaced. The shamefaced meaning not being in every man's face. You don't supposed to be like that. Read. And sobriety. And being sober. You know what I'm saying? It's good for the woman to be sober. Because when you're kind of drunk or stuff, you seem, sometimes you make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? You, you'll live life a little bit. You know what I mean. Read. 
and not with broidered hair. Meaning, don't let it be about your hair. Well, you know, a lot of our women, they just, oh, it's about my hair. No. Well, you know, I feel better because my hair done. No, it's not about that, mm -hmm. Reed. Or gold. Or gold, meaning your rings or your necklaces and stuff mm -hmm. or your feet jewelry. Don't let it be about that, meaning the outward appearance, Reed. Or pearls, Reed. Or costly array. Meaning don't let it be about your costly clothing, you know what I'm saying? Our women today, they, okay, I got on Gucci, I got on Doje Gabbana, I got on Ralph Lauren. I'm better now, I feel good. No, God said don't let it be about that, Reed. But which come, but which becometh women professing godliness. Professing godliness, read. With good works. With what? With good works. So you got to have good works. The good works is keeping God's law, statutes, commandments. Read. Verse 11. Come on. Let the woman learn in silence. The Bible says let the woman learn in silence. Read. With all subjection. With all subjection. If you have a husband, you're supposed to be under subjection on him. But a righteous husband. Not no just, you know, will it be a Negro I in the street. You know what I'm saying? Being wicked is on the way. We don't. Verse 12. Give me Titus 2 and uh, 3. Give me Titus 2 and 3 real quick. So this is what God requires of you. You know, be a modest apparel. Have your dress on. This is how you serve the Lord. You know You know about the seventh day? Because we got a congregation that's on that there. You could, uh, you could subscribe to our page. You could actually come to the school and congregate with us. Because God want us to gather together and be a family. Because there's a family unit right here. You know what I'm saying? Our brothers them got wives. We got older women. They can teach you things. Teach you how to sew. Work with your hands. You know what I'm saying? And and find you a righteous husband. You know what I'm saying? What about my hair? Do you guys have to cut my dress? No, you ain't got to cut your dress. No, you ain't got to cut your dress. Read. There's the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse that, 3. That's your real hell, right? Hallelujah. A lot of sisters have you. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a rare thing. You know what I'm saying? Read that up. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 3. Come on. The aged women likewise, Read. that they be be in behavior that as becometh holiness. Holy means separated. You mean you got to be separated from everything else. You got to be separated from the sisters that's out there in wickedness. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say, can two walk together unless they be agreed. You know what I'm saying? So you got to separate from the women in another lifestyle. You know what I mean. You, you got friends. You know they... Some of them think uh, uh, a lot different. You know what I'm saying? They mind somewhere else. Read. Not false accusers. Don't be a false accuser, meaning gossiping. God don't like you to gossip. You know what I'm saying? And that's a thing that's very prevalent amongst our people, especially our women. They love to gossip and keep up stuff. Read. Not giving too much wine. Meaning not being a drunk, giving too much wine. Ain't nothing wrong with sipping, but when you go to get out of order or out of pocket, you ain't had too much. Now you're falling and stumbling, your drinks blowing up over your head. No, you can't be doing that. You got to be in order. Read. Teachers of good things. Doing what? Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. Because you got to teach who? You got younger women up under you. You got to be example. You know what I'm saying? Read. That they may teach the young women. Teach the younger women. Read. To be sober. To be what? To be sober. To be sober. Read. To love their husband. To love their husband. The Bible teaches you how to love your husband. See, this is what's wrong in a lot of our communities and amongst our relationships. You see in our relationship, they fight all the time, this and that, that, because we was never taught how to be with one another. The man wasn't taught how to love the black woman. The so-called black woman wasn't taught how to love the black man. This, these are the things that the Bible teaches. Read. To love their children. Uh, we don't. To be discreet. To be discreet. Discreet meaning being serious and not in every man's face. You got to be discreet. Read. Chest. Right. Keepers at home. Running the streets. Keepers at home. Keepers at home. Keepers at home. See, the the woman's place is at home, not in the streets. Because there ain't nothing out there in the streets. You know that. Ain't nothing out there in the street but killing, hatred, murder, robbing, partying, the same thing. I've seen some women party till they get old. Now they're 40, they're still in the club shaking, trying to get low. <laughs> the time I ran out. It's over. Read. Good. Read. Obedient to their own husbands. Obedient to their own husband. Read. That the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. Give me a uh, second. Give me First Timothy 5 and 20 real quick. Right. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verse 20. Read. Them that sin... Wait, read. hold on. 5 and 14. Read. This is the book of 1 Timothy, 
chapter 5, verse 14. Come on. I will therefore that the younger women marry. So God said he want the younger women to marry, read. Bear children. Bear children, read. Guide the house. Do what? Guide the house. No, run the street. Guide the house. God said guide the house. That's what he want the woman to do. Because that's where your place at is at home, not in the streets. Read. Give none occasion Read. to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Don't give no occasion for people to talk about it. Oh, she out here in this man's face, sleeping with him, 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 him. That's getting the adversary occasion to speak reproachfully. Because when you got your husband, you're going to be at home. You know what I'm saying? And when you do go out, you're with him because he's going to protect you. That's how it's supposed to be. Give me Leviticus 11 and 7. I'm going to give... Who's coming up next, y'all? Okay, that's it? All right. Give me a little bit, because I'm going to give you a couple more laws real quick. Leviticus, well, I say 7 and 11. 7 and 11. 11 and 7. All right, do you eat pork? Hope shot. <laughs> Nick Ball. What was that? Uh, oh, uh, Ma. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, right, right. 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 book of Leviticus. Wait, hold on. Hey, Cap. Wait up. Go ahead. <laughs> He's a Levite too. Come on, he's a Levite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got the Levite to bring this out, man. Uh, it's Levi. 11 and 7, man. Because Levites are famous for eating grill, man. We love eating fried pork. We love eating grill with everything, man. Right, am right? The scripture says we can't eat, we can't eat it, right? Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. Read. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. And the grill. And the swine. And the swine. And the swine. Can't eat it, read. <laughs> Though he divide the hoof, though he have a divided hoof, like his feet are like this, read, and be cloven footed, and his feet are cloven footed, like some like a split, like a clover in the sense, read. Yeah, he no chews not the cud. He does what? Yeah. He chews no not cochon. the cud. Who can much that good? Allowed to eat a certain uh, beast or animal, uh, it has to chew the cud. I mean, it chews it cud, like it's like it eats the grass, swallows it, and then it's like it has a second stomach. Am I right? Con, read. He is unclean to you. He's what? He is unclean to you. Most I said he, it's he's unclean to you. We're not allowed to eat pork because it doesn't follow that requirement. So we should stay away from it. We should not deal with it. If we eat it, it's a sin unto the most high God. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Of their flesh you should not eat, read. And their carcass shall ye not touch. Of their carcass you should not touch. If you see his dead body, we're not supposed to touch it because it's gonna become unclean. Read. They are unclean to you. Read. Uh, these are these no, shall you eat, and also get me Leviticus 11 and 10 as well. Come on. You eat shrimp, crab, lobster, and all that have not fins and scales. Sister, do you eat shrimp, crab, lobster, lumpy? I mean, no, I know because I eat these things, we ate these things, these are the things that are part of our culture that our parents teach us, but they didn't teach us in the Bible. These things are unclean, we're not supposed to eat these things, right? Read. And all that have not fins and scales in the sea. So if it doesn't have fins and scales, that you know those little things when you clean the fish, those things, if it doesn't have that, or if it doesn't have fins, those things that are on the side, right? Like uh, clam, lumpy, don't, they don't have that, right? Crab don't have that, shrimp don't have that. So that means we can't eat any of these things, read. And the rivers and all that move in the waters uh -huh. of any living thing which is in the waters, uh -huh. They shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be an abomination unto you. Give me Leviticus, uh, verse 44. Keep going, now, keep going. Yeah, verse 44, keep going. Meaning we cannot eat these things, because you should leave these things to the side. Verse 44. Uh -huh. For I am the Most High that your power, uh -huh. ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves. The Most High God said we shall sanctify ourselves, because we, we're the children of Israel, we're the children of God. Not all people are the children of God, but we are, because we're the Israelites, read. And ye shall be holy. And ye shall be what? Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be holy, meaning you shall be separate. That's why the Most High God gave us, he gave us seven days, right, to work. But he said one of those days out of the seven is what? Separate, it's holy. So the Most High God says the things we must eat also must be holy. Read. For I am holy. For his what? For an I am holy. For the Most High God is holy, read. Neither shall ye defile yourselves. Now you shall, neither shall ye what? Defile yourselves. The Most High God said, don't defile yourselves. Because when you eat these things, you defile yourselves. How about hmm? With any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. All these unclean meats. After what? After you finish breaking this down, it's not scarred in the Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Also, give me one more thing. Give me first John three and four. Because let me teach you the reason why our people went into slavery. The, the reason why people broke, like living the conditions that we live in, is because we went against God's commandments. And as a result of going against God's commandments, we get the judgments. That's how we live the way we do. So for us to come out of these conditions, we must keep God's commandments. First John three and four. This is the book of First John chapter three verse four. Uh huh. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Have you ever heard that? We're all sinners. But does the Christian church ever teach you what a sin is? No. Anything that is against God's laws, which you read in, like, for example, Leviticus 11 and 7, is a sin. So if you break God's, God's laws, you are a sinner. In Romans 6 and 23, there's a judgment for breaking God's laws. Take your time. Get Romans 23. There's a judgment for living against God's laws, for eating these things. The, the judgment are the curses you find in Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 to 68. Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin... But this is the ultimate judgment, read. ...is death. That's what we got, diabetes, read. But the, the but the gift of the Most High... Read it again. For the wages of sin is death. Uh, many of our people eat these things and then they have medical issues, right? Many of our people, they break God, they don't, li they don't live according to God's commandments, and they die all death. You see, our, many of our people, they sell drugs on the street, they die in the street, right? Many of our people commit fornications. What do you have in our in our community? So